moments of performances that I'll never forget. What a game. That my Brooklyn go see Shy Rock, South Side, C12, 911, good to the reality, we still outside. Mine on the riches, hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie, this flex no day ready. See, we were not a ride nobody way, we're the ones who started with it. Translation, Yanni had to buy Yanni at Yellow Hits. This goes so hard, even the ops go with it, uh huh. That's how you know we lit. City in the Americas, founded in 1325. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. It ain't easy breaking away or being a great. They slamming the door, I'm jumping the gate. Cause a starving stomach like being punched in the face. And an instrumental with the last time that I ate food from all of the base. My eight spoon going, big son told me about the game. 20 years later, know my name. King, crown me lounge in the back of the spot. Pay homage to an underground peasant, climb to the top. Funny style. On elevators could never fade us. I peak data stain anytime they congratulate us. Goggles is worn and bottles is popping. I'm beyond Sanders on haters. This ice bucket dropping over the head with it. From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Coming up, it's the final game of Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a good AFC matchup in store between the Miami Dolphins and the Mexico City Diablos. Trophy begins as we're underway in this AFC wildcard game. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
come out throwing here to start the drive. Flushed out right. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. Second and 15. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty, because now it makes it third and six after the false start. They'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They'll look to throw now on first down. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. First and 10 at the 30 yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Diablos will strike first here in this wild card matchup. So they take the opening kickoff and drive it all the way down the field. And that's the last thing you want defensively. On the road, in the playoffs, and now you're down a touchdown right away. They'll try and throw for it. It's caught. And it's 8 nothing. Interesting. I mean, they're putting their foot on the gas here early, going for two to go up 8 nothing. Well, after that drive, you have to believe that they thought to themselves, if we can do that, what's another two yards? Let's go get those and get two points as a result. This is taken just shy of the 10. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. That's caught inside the 20. It's a big play there for Miami. 71 yards. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And that's how you start a drive, because you know they had this play in their back pocket, waiting for the right time to unleash it. And boy, did they pick the right opportunity. Unleashed it big time, and that was also a big time throw. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. One more time with Hall. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think the second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. From the four now, third and goal. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Brees Hall taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins are back within a couple of the lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And this is now a one-point game. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. This fielded right at the goal line. They'll take over. First down and 10 at their own 15 yard line. Hey, hey. 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your catch. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins have moved out in front. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes this a 14-8 ball game. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves. He's got a man complete. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Again, he'll drop to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. First and goal at the six-yard line. In motion comes the tight end left. He'll look to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. With how the coverage was positioned. Up was about the only spot the quarterback had to try and deliver that pass. Just put a little too much height on it. Incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. He'll drop to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Charles, one thing that he referenced to us yesterday was his confidence fitting the ball into any window, but obviously that window was a little too tight, and it was closing in a hurry. And he was talking to us about having anticipation in making those types of throws down near the goal line. I don't think you can anticipate it as much as you need to see it open. You've got to be precise with your throws down here in the red zone. That one goes into double coverage, and he gets picked off. Ball again on second down. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. He was tackled at the 27 yard line. He took eight yards. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll go with a touch pass here trying to pick it up. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short of third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but Ryan, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, 
but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And he's not going to get there. He might have even lost a yard. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. First and 10 at the 16 yard line. Back to throw here. Flush to his right. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now a handoff running through the middle. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. and push the offense backwards a bit. Not ideal there. That delay of game backs him up five yards, so now they need seven yards on third down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Third down, he'll drop to throw. That's complete right around the eight. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Now back to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Yes, folks, that is his third interception. And I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Hall again. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. On the set. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And going deep for Hill. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They're going to zoom and pass that number there. Hall again on second down. Uses the stiff arm. 
Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Good running right there. And this is a man who's a thousand yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. And he is swollen up right at the line of scrimmage. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes it 21 to 8. Diablo's eight. Chase McLaughlin set to kick off. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. From the 10. And he returns this to the 22. His guys take over first and 10. At their own 22 yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second Master quarter, six. not sure how aggressively, six. offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock. And let the defense get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Steps away to his left. It's tipped, but it doesn't matter. He still catches it. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Real green. Real green. Back to throw now on first down. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wildcard game. This is taken just shy of the 10. And good coverage there on special teams as they're getting down shy of the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my dad. He predicted the visitors would win. And maybe to the folks in the stadium, but you know who is not a surprise too far here? This team with the football. They were very confident coming in. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Yeah, my Brooklyn, go see Shy Rock, South Side, C12, 911, good to the Yassi, we still outside. Mine on the riches, heart in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. 
Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie. This flex no day ready. See, we wanna ride nobody with. We the ones who started with it. Translation: Yanni had to buy Yanni a Yanni hits. <laughs> this goes so hard, even the ops go with it. Uh huh. That's how you know we lit. Yeah, yeah. Grr, uh -huh. The pride of my people are ready. Them I see any. Me, I'm just sharing my journey. I'm thankful that people they hear me. Tribe of Joseph, I'm ahead of the bunch. P5, I was starving for months. A running cut team, both of my packets, me need my DNA. Baby, for lunch, but we call me a star before BBC. Don't take a lot to get rid of me. Me and them don't get the same. Me and them don't get the same. Oh, I died, they don't know who the name is. They say I move like I'm nameless. Cause I only got for the money bags and I don't really wanna be famous. Man. We going crazy, we at the top and we never gonna stop Hopping the ghost, I'ma get swayzy I just got off with a jet and I cry My n***a I win and I hum to your lie I be on go cause I come from the shot I'm shooting back, I ain't ducking no shots Got power like sense and I cut off the locks Ah, shot back, ah, Tema In the cut like I'm Fredo Santana Lose you bench and I hop in the bam of the world It's mine, I'm Tony Montana, I'm Pelican Fly Diamonds on me cause I'm rapping a rock I'ma go hard, I ain't killing them soft I'm up in the hills, I feel like I'm Lauren, you ready or not I like who got businesses, I'm CEO of mine, 1980, Prezi, Roly, we been working overtime, the witness, the police, the pigs, I don't eat swine, son of Jacob, this biblical, my flow the holy God, save money, ground up, in the gutter where they found us, stones in the faint mouth rush, more vacays, more bucks, more race, more foreign trucks, more on the tour bus, more poor cup, toast to the winners, throw it up, uh. This ain't no game to me. Yeah, ain't got time to be explaining me. Yeah. From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Coming up, it's the final game of Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a good AFC matchup in store between the Miami Dolphins and the Mexico City Diablos. begins as we're underway in this AFC wildcard game. And this will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25.
Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. And what is going on here? Are they serious? First down, and they're in punt formation. And now a high kick, but he hit it straight up. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And it'll be Dolphin football. To end the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 37. and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Meanwhile, to his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Well, they talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And that makes it 7 0 Dolphins. Makes the score Dolphins 7, Diablos nothing. Chase McLaughlin is set to kick off. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Taken in at the... Oh, and miscommunication on the ladder. The ball's out. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. So they get the one score kickoff, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. this they're lining up here to punt on first down and this one will be touched down inside the 40 yard line The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10. Here's Tua. He finds his man complete. That's Richards. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll make it second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Tua. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. And he'll be well short of a first down as he stopped again right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. He's going to fire one deep left sideline, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Able to break the tackle, but then quickly brought down just outside of the five. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Back to throw. Dancing to his left. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 55 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They'll look to throw again. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. You've got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They'll set up to throw. And that'll be incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. They get 15, but they still needed a little bit more. Fourth down. Let's go. Black duck. Blue strike. Hey, hey. Now they send a running back in motion right. Black. 
They're going to look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Jair Elam makes a pick. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. All again on second down. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And when the time has expired on the first quarter, 14 0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And they will take over first and 10. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. The struggles continue here offensively. Still nothing for them on the scoreboard and now an interception. Yeah, the offense looks extremely sluggish. Not really in sync at all. Dare I say, it looks like it got left behind in customs. Oh, you've had that in your back pocket. <laughs> you were waiting for that. Probably should have left it in my back pocket, too. Well played. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. So I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. On second down, a run with Hall. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain there. And now they're looking at a third and 13. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On third and long, it's Tug of Iloa trying to lay one up deep. He's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Running left, it's Hall. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Brings up second and one at the 14-yard line. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs.
All again on second down. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Brees Hall, 14 yards. And the Dolphins continue to pull the playoff surprise as they lead big here on the road. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And it is now 21 to nothing. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Fielded just outside the goal line. They'll take over. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They've got to be a little shell-shocked. Down double digits at home in the playoffs. Still in the first half. They've got to turn things around quickly. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Wide open receiver complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for first and 10. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And a throw right sideline is complete. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Looking to throw. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. And so the last three drives, you've got two interceptions and a fumble. I think we know why they're losing right now. Without question, and we've seen the evidence, just what you talked about there. If they take care of the football, Number one, maybe they're not having this deficit. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field. Maybe catch them back on their heels. And that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. And you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Okay, great. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report.
Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC Wild Card game. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start. You see, it's two type of people in life. People that wake up and wish they had it. There's people that wake up and go get it. We go get it, baby. Photo poor, so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go get it, photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Top floor, top dog, like I just signed a TDE. Gang, 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 gang. No, we all gotta eat. Gang, gang. Up late, bills do, rent do, I ain't been asleep. Woo. Looking in the mirror, all I see is everything that I wanted to be. Me. My city dependent on me, that's on GOD. Uh. Grew up watching my mom become what daddy couldn't be. Yeah. I ball like MLB, these Bottega boots ain't cheap. My car ain't got no key. I push the start to start my week. I'm in this photo poor, so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son. Go, go, get it. So photogenic, all I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. It's another one. We got another one. It's her. Who that? Big baby slide through in that drop top. Something about Ben's looking cute. 